Hey, welcome to another episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. I wanted to get one more sour in before I said goodbye. So I said Total One. I never had anything. Uh, I never had a fruit lambic from Boone before. So this is Frambois Boone. I really should be called Boone Frambois. 2016 bottling. Lovely green right, bottle so here. So let's start diving in on the aroma. Yeah, I mean, lovely, lovely uh, raspberry jam smell. And it smells like real, real fruit juice. It doesn't smell like super sugary and sweet. I mean, it smells sweet like fruit, but it doesn't smell like there's like added sugar to it, like some of those other, some of those other fruit lambics, you know. Yeah, so big, big raspberry on this one. I am getting the kind of terroir character, just like a little bit of the farmhouse kind of a thing. Slightly, slightly woody, just that country air quality to it but i mean the raspberry is it's pretty strong here i wouldn't go as far as say it's super strong but you know plenty of raspberry sweet smelling a little bit of the terroir no hops not that you need it um yeah so uh really nice for the style uh, not the greatest smelling fruit lambic ever but certainly on point uh, i'm gonna give that a 10 out of 12 appearance not sure this is picking up on camera Beautiful, beautiful, just magenta hue. I, I don't think it could even really be measured up with the SRM card. I mean, yeah, because it's a red more than a brown. Maybe 17. You know, it's a little cloudy. And the foam, uh, well, the foam was pretty big when I first poured it, but it fizzled away. That's, you know, it's not uncommon for the style because of the high acidity. And it's still sticking around, so... I'm going to go the full three out of three on appearance. How about flavor? Let's check that out. Cheers. This flavor is almost the complete opposite of the aroma. Because the aroma was big, raspberry, and just like subtle, you know, lambic terroir character. The taste is the exact opposite. It is big, big lambic flavor. And just like a little bit of subtle, subtle raspberry on it. Yeah, so... The raspberry is there, like, throughout the whole thing. Probably up front is when you notice it the most. And then just, like, well, not, it's also, as soon as it hits the lips and the tongue, as soon as it hits my palate, I should say. Actually, the palate is the roof of your mouth or the ceiling of your mouth. Um, getting the, the lambic base character. So, um, I wouldn't say it's, like, super sour. It, it, it's really not all that sour, but it's just, like, a lot of Brett. So the the farmhouse, farmhouse, the funkiness, horse blanket, countryside, whatever you want to call it, a lot of that in here. Yeah, so lightly sour up front and then immediately big, big Brett um, tartness. And tartness really helps with the uh, the raspberry, just pairs with that that flavor perfectly. It's pretty, like, pretty acidic too. Finishes very, very clean. Um, just a little bit of a tart aftertaste. And, and in fact, I'm actually a little, I'm actually a little disappointed on this one. Um, I mean, it's only two years old and like the raspberry is, has been really been diminished. And I was reading the specs here and it says, you know, I mean, like that's par for the course for the style. It doesn't really say like what is appropriate. I mean, a fruit lambic when it's fresh, it's going to taste like, you know, fruit juice, like jam. But when it gets old, the, you know, just the fruit fades, the Brett and the terroir character just takes over. A little bummed that the, the, the raspberry isn't quite as strong as it smells because it smells like really potent. But as far as the uh, actual taste, it's, you know, rather subtle. Um, so, I mean, but it's still, t I, I love the Lambic base on there. I'm going to kind of split the difference on this one. So... Love the Lambic, not impressed by the lack of raspberry. Something in 14 or 15, I'm going to say 14. Mouthfeel, it's actually kind of a lighter body. A lot of those Lambics, um, well, the common ones, they tend to be like kind of thick and sticky because there's so much sugar in them. This one's very, very dry, so I'd probably put about a medium light body and high carbonation. And it's 5% ABV, so... It actually has like a little bit of heft, you know, like a lot of the other ones are like 2.5 or something. They're almost like beer cocktails or, or something like that. Um, 
yeah, so like medium light body, high high carbonation, very easy to drink, very refreshing. Be much more fun to drink this in the day than at night like this, but um, it's on point for the style. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go four out of five on mouthfeel. Overall impression, it's nice, but it's not like amazing. I'm gonna go eight out of ten. Still score thirty nine out of fifty. Seems about right to me. So there you go. 39 out of 50, 8 out of 10 for Frambois Boon. Not my favorite fruit lambic, but this one is certainly on point for the style. Pretty tasty. And I think it was actually, I don't want to say cheap, but just not expensive. So, All right, so we only have very, very few episodes left. Hopefully going to have a few more Skype reviews and a very, very special beer for number 1,000. So let's stick around for that. I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better. 